What's up guys? Tony Rican here and not that long ago I did some spinach and artichoke bites. Now my wife loved those so she asked me to do another spinach and artichoke recipe. So today I'm throwing down and I'm making a spinach and artichoke pizza. You know exactly what this is gonna be don't you? That's right this is awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. For this pizza recipe, go ahead and start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees. And then I'm going to go ahead and prep my dough. What I'm going to do is I've got a pizza stone. You could do this in just a, a regular baking dish, whatever. I'm going to take some cornmeal, spread it on there. Then I just have a regular store bought pizza crust. I'm going to go ahead and shape to my pizza stone. Then I'm going to brush a little bit of olive oil on there. Poke a few holes with the forks. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw this in my oven for about five to seven minutes just to let this start off. Now, while that dough's in the oven, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start prepping my sauce. For this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tablespoon of butter and start to melt that down. Now while that's melting down, I'm going to go ahead and dice up uh, some garlic I'll saute in there and also saute that with some red pepper flake. Now after that garlic's had nice, uh, a chance to get nice and fragrant, I'm going to go ahead and whisk in my flour. After about a minute, I'm going to go ahead and add in my milk and half and half. Now, I also added in my salt and pepper, and after a couple minutes, you can see it's thickening up. I'm going to go ahead and put in my paprika, my cream cheese, and my parmesan, and I'll mix this all together until it's nice and melted, and then my sauce is ready. So my dough's ready, my sauce is done, so let's go ahead, throw this one together. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take that nice thick sauce and pour it over our dough. Then I'm going to take about half my mozzarella, spread that on there, throw my spinach. For the spinach it's one of those as much as you like, you could add more or less whatever is to your liking, and then my artichoke. Same thing again, as much or as little artichoke as you like. And then the rest of my mozzarella, I'm going to pop this in the oven for, let's say, about 10 minutes. Then I'll pull it out, spread some Parmesan cheese, put it back in the oven for another four minutes, and this will be done. And that's it guys this one is done it really is just that simple and take a look at how this one came out it looks awesome my cheese is nice and melted that crust is golden brown I mean the whole pizza didn't even make it to filming it was snatched up and eaten already but this one totally looks like you really are a gourmet but it's super simple but you know what it doesn't matter how good this one looks all that matters is how good does this one taste This is freaking incredible, guys. You guys are going to love this one. So go ahead, like, share, comment on the video down below. If you need complete, step-by-step, -step, printable instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Give this one a try. Subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you guys next time.